Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Adkisson, President and CEO of the Chicago Zoological Society and Director of Brookfield Zoo. And I am here in one of my favorite places at the zoo in our penguin encounter room. And I'm joined today by Dr. Susana Cardenas, who is the Program Director for the Punta San Juan Program in Peru, which is one of our long-standing conservation programs that we work with from Brookfield Zoo, protecting these incredible Humboldt penguins in the wild. So thanks for joining me today, <laughs> Susana. Um, we've known each other a long time. We've worked many years in the field together, um, working on conservation of these incredible birds in the wild. And one of the neatest things about this encounter room here at the zoo is that this mural is actually one of the beaches in Punta San Juan that we work on. You know, this is an incredible site. Why don't you just uh, tell everybody a little bit about uh, Punta San Juan in general? Well, very excited to be here and loving the backdrop because it makes me feel at home. And of course, the penguins. Punta San Juan is definitely a special place that is also hard to replicate because there's so much wildlife packed in this one little peninsula, right? 133 acres, so smaller than Brookfield Zoo, but has very large numbers of animals. We have right now about 3,000 penguins, 5,000 fur seals. It also is between 8 and 12,000 sea lions and 200,000 cormorants. This is a place where all of these species meet together to basically breed, rest between their feeding trips, and we just believe it's a super important site that we have to keep safe and wild so that all these species can thrive. And one of the uh, most important sites for Humboldt penguins in terms of colony size in Peru and, and reproduction of these endangered birds in the wild. So the population of Humboldt penguins in the wild is endangered. They face a lot of threats and we're very happy to uh, be able to support that conservation program. But when we talk about protecting Humboldt penguins, what are the other wildlife here? And tell us a little bit about the programs that you've worked with. Humboldt penguins share a lot of their space with uh, the pinnipeds and uh, South American fur seals are, are one of them, uh, the South American sea lions as well. But here, in, specifically in this beach, we have the fur seals. P Punta San Juan is home also to the largest colony of South American fur seals per Peru and also a uh, largest colony for Humboldt penguins. So the penguins actually in the fur seals have a lot of things in common that they like these cold water upwelling areas, and they do very well in those areas. So Punta San Juan is especially cold and they love this place. So super important to conserve the land, right? These animals, all of them breed and rest on land, but have to go do their feeding trips in the water. So they need a space on land. One of the things that we've worked together on with both the penguins and the fur seals is just assessing the health of these populations. Yeah. And so we're actually out in the field working with these animals directly, collecting samples from them, blood samples, blubber samples, feathers, other tissue samples, to really understand what diseases they're exposed to, what they're doing when they're out in the water in terms of what animals they're using as prey, what contaminants or toxicants they're being exposed to in the wild, and then also putting in some cases satellite tags on them so that you can actually look and see where the animals are, are using the ocean and what their ocean use patterns look like to understand what part of the ocean water we also need to be protecting, even all the way down to just you know where our plastics end up as we talk about plastics going into the water. Um, that's a big, big source here in the United States that all of us at home can can help with is just making sure that you know we're doing our part in recycling and that our plastics are not you know eventually ending up into the the ocean. We've got a, a plastic made penguin over here as a reminder for everybody that comes here to the zoo and has this penguin encounter as a reminder of the importance of, of plastic uh, recycling and making sure that we're doing our part to keep our oceans clean and safe for the animals that live there. This is very true. I think everybody can do their part. We all have to. Um, even in, in Peru, in Punta San Juan, that could be a remote location. Uh, we find plastic from not only from, from fishing, but also, like you're saying, from, from household items or single-use plastics. And unfortunately, yeah, we're finding it, uh, we find animals entangled with it, and we're finding microplastics in their poo. It's not great news to start finding microplastics all that's already gone through their systems. We use so much of it that also reducing the use of single-use plastics the, is, I think is very important. It's a, a big way that we can pitch in and help the ocean be a healthier place. Uh, we had the pleasure of having Susanna here in Chicago along with uh, Patricia Maloof, who is uh, 
another conservationist from Peru that has dedicated her career to conservation of marine habitats in Peru. And we have a conservation leadership awards dinner every year that the zoo sponsors. And we were able to recognize both Patricia and Susana with two of our main conservationist awards this year, which was a wonderful recognition of the years of hard work that they have put into conservation of Peru's wildlife. And uh, it's been a real honor to have them with us. It's a great opportunity for us to talk a little bit more about the conservation of some of the animals that we have here at the zoo and uh, what everyone here in Chicago can do to help support those programs. The next time you're out here at Brookfield Zoo, uh, please uh, take the opportunity to consider coming to one of our penguin encounters. It's a great opportunity to see these birds up close and it's also a great opportunity to hear more about the incredible work that's being done for penguin conservation and the programs that are taking place in Peru. These guys, they're incredibly good ambassadors for their counterparts in the wild. They really help tell that conservation story and every one of us can do our part to help uh, make the world a better place and to save these animals in their natural environments. So uh, thanks for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you out here at the zoo again soon.